Okay, it's four o'clock in the afternoon on the 23rd of March 2015 and I'm starting a cleansing routine. This involves fasting, doing without solid food, doing without food basically. Uh, I had a big breakfast this morning incorporating a uh, oatmeal porridge and some watermelon because I thought that would be nice. And now it's now four o'clock, so I've been without food for four, five, six, seven hours, and I'm not feeling too bad. Okay, see how it goes. One of the biggest obstacles I've had to overcome when contemplating doing something like this, cleansing or including fasting, was just fear. And fear of doing without, fear of uh, not being able to function, fear of like my emotions and my thoughts going a bit awry um, and so on and so forth so I just see how I can cope with it I might not be able to I might go straight back onto food uh, at any point I could just end up like giving up the whole thing I don't know so I got some anxiety issues about the whole thing but I've been doing about five weeks worth of workouts up to this point was it six weeks I don't know so I developed some like basic strength which I'm hopefully is gonna which I'm hoping is gonna be a foundation for what I'm about to achieve. My water distiller is going so I can have some good quality water which can draw more toxins out of my body tomorrow and today I've been on just filtered water since breakfast. Wish me luck I'm going in. Morning of March the 24th um, 24 hours has passed since I started the fast, had a few food cravings so far. Um, felt a bit difficult, not too worried. The only thing I'm putting in my body at the moment is vitamin and mineral supplements because I'm not doing without those because I have a history of deficiency so I think it's wise for me to carry on taking them. Um, filtered water, distilled water and tea white tea and oolong at the moment so I might get some green in shortly uh, but that's all I'm putting in as far as like anything of a physical solid nature into my body uh, I want to make sure I can get the digestive system nice and clean so that I can uh, just have a nice clean digestive system and, and all the rest of that so essentially just focusing in on food fasting at this time is going to be Im important and then tomorrow afternoon <clears throat> once I've done um, two days worth of just water fasting and tea fasting I will then go on to getting out the juicer and using the juicer I uh, can't say I'm experiencing any health miracles after just 24 hours but just carry on doing the process and see what happens everything I've read about fasting suggests that the organs of digestion uh, as well as the lungs and the kidneys and uh, the liver and all the rest of that starts to go through a period of cleansing and getting rid of any like build up which has been there over the years uh, anything which it hasn't um, focused on healing before uh, that's been there any scars, any debris or whatever just dealing with it bit by bit and I think that's a good thing so that's it, you know, 24 hours into it, no major problems so far, um, rather dreading day three, I think it's day three to, uh, to day five, when the food cravings are supposed to get really intense and you're supposed to feel terrible, but one step at a time. Morning of day three, so this is... March the 25th, uh, morning of day 3 means 48 hours has passed, okay, means I've completed two days, uh, just on water, tea, prebiotics and probiotics. Uh, things I've discovered, it's not too bad, I mean I was terrified about not being able to function and all the rest of that, and yes there were some moments when I was a bit ropey on my legs, you know, not quite sure, if, a bit bit like um, a drunken sailor really uh, but that passed quite quickly I was also awake enough and clear minded enough to be able to go to my Toastmasters meeting and do a public speech in front of a crowd uh, 
I was more concerned about just traveling to the meeting, to be honest, so without fainting or something stupid. But I did it, and so no problem. So now with my two days worth of water fasting done, now I'm going to start moving on to juice fasting, and I'll do probably a, another group, group of videos about that um, with the passage of time. But the bottom line is, it's not that bad. Uh, so long as you're drinking tons of water, whenever you're hungry, drink water. Whenever you're very hungry, drink tea. All right, just remember that. Then everything else will be okay. Really, yes, you will feel hungry. Yes, you'll feel cravings. They will not be that intense. If you're drinking water, you're keeping your mind on your goal, and you're trying to break the habit of the food addictions. Because they are addictions. Okay, it's just as bad as like drink or drugs or anything it just it, the, the biggest thing was the fear uh, dealing with the fear when I was contemplating starting this and taking it seriously and all the rambling thoughts of I'm not going to be able to handle this, I'm not going to be able to function, I'm not going to be able to get my work done, I'm not going to be able to be uh, you know a, a socially good individual and in, in what ways it's going to do me some good and dealing with those kind of thoughts was the hardest, probably the hardest task of the whole thing. The actual being without food for a couple of days is not as hard as facing that fear and overcoming it. Okay? So, two day water fast over, on to the next stage. Quickly forgot to mention um, symptoms I've experienced. Uh, well, a bit of dizziness, yes, a uh, bit of nausea, strangely enough, uh, as well as headaches and also a bit of shakiness, which could be a healing reaction, I don't know. But either way, that's what I've experienced so far. So I'll end this series now and then you can then wait for the next one. See you soon.